On today's episode, I'm reviewing a portfolio for somebody I actually know personally, which is awkward, I guess, but stay tuned, it's gonna be interesting. Hey everybody, what's up? On today's episode, I'm reviewing a portfolio of somebody I know, he's based in Tel Aviv, Israel, right here, and I've met him in several design events and other uh, opportunities here in Israel. His name is Amos Jerby, and he sent me his portfolio for a review. So we're gonna do that right now and try to see if there's anything that we can improve to increase his chances for finding his next opportunity. So let's jump right into it. So this is Amos' website. Um, this is the portfolio. First glance, I have to say, looks good. Just high quality in terms of the illustration, typography and stuff. Um, let's see what we have here. So, hi, I'm, I'm Amos Jerby. Uh, the big title is UX UI designer that loves challenges. With five years experience in design, I can make your vision come to life. And then the big call to action is to download the resume. Now, let's start scrolling, get the first, um, first feel for this. So once I'm scrolling down, I can see some kind of like traits, I guess, autodidact delivers, team player. We also have this now top navigation bar with home project, the testimonials, and let's talk. Um, then I go down and kind of see the first project. So we have Gopher app design project. We'll click there in a second. Second one, payback, view case studies. Um, and then here we have some several other projects and uh, what they say. So I guess this is a little bit of client testimonials or people that know him. Um, so this is great. And then at the end, let's talk and phone number, email, and social icons. All right, so, and let's see how a case study looks like. So here's a case study, let's click it. Go for send gifts, go for a smart gifting app. I um, can click to visit the website and I can see a little bit about the project, so how it works. Then uh, some of the first sketches and then then it hit us, I have no idea what it means. And then some drawing boards, um, logo process. All right, let's 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 get started from the beginning. So let's head back to the homepage. Um, first thing that I'm asking myself about this website is, I don't know what Amos really wants. I don't know if he wants a freelance project or if he's looking for his next full-time um, full job because it doesn't really say who is he a best fit for. So he, I know he's a UX UI designer, but I'm not really sure if he works with tech companies, if he works with big companies, if he works with early stage companies. Uh, I don't really know what specific clients or project are best fit for him. So as a client or as somebody who's looking to hire a designer, not really sure what I can expect here. Um, so not sure if he wants to work on projects. Again, if he wants to work within a team, I don't know. So it's hard for me to know. Now, the next thing is this header here um, only shows up, which I don't know if this is a mistake, but when I scroll up, it's gone. So right now, when I'm just loading the website, there is no contact button. There's just download this resume. Um, and only if I scroll, I get this let's talk button, which I think is weird also when I get into a, a case study, it does not appear. I'm kind of losing context of where we are. So this, I think it's just like a bug or like interaction interaction that went wrong. Um, but you should definitely bring that navigation menu back up. I can't even click to go to the home page uh, if I'm not scrolled a bit down. So that's that's I guess um, when it comes to the hero section here, and I'm not actually sure if this is kind of basically an illustration that you did, an illustration of you. Not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it looks good because it's like illustrations are pretty trendy right now. So it looks good. Um, I always personally like to visually see the people that um, I'm about to work with. Now, this is pretty neat because in a way you're kind of saying, just like a lot of startups put the benefits of the product um, in here, you kind of put your benefits here, which I think are cool. But when it comes to autodidact, like, um, got a degree in design, but also do front end coding. Um, if you wanted to say that you can code as well, then maybe you should put able to code here. But basically, as, as somebody is looking to hire you, I mean, if I'm a client, I don't care how you learn your stuff. Um, maybe if um, 
looking for an employee, an employee that can learn by itself um, is important. So again, I think this really matters to the context of what you're trying to achieve here. Maybe it looks like you're, you're trying to get a job and so Autodidact makes sense. Um, delivers and team player, I think they're relevant for both cases, either a freelancer or an employee. Um, so I like this. I like this is kind of like what sets you apart. Um, and I like this. I think not many designers do this. So I think this is great. Now, when it comes to the case study, basically it says here app design and then the screen here, I'm not really sure. Is this a device? Is this just, just part of the UI? It's kind of, I'm not really sure what I'm seeing right now, which is kind of like weird. And I go inside, then I just see an icon here. Um, and again, why am I not seeing an app inside a device? I don't know. It's true that an app inside a device is kind of a cliche. You see this in every um, basically website and every portfolio, but I think it helps you to get a context to where this design like lives because this is not like a standard format. What we see here, it's just a bunch of UI elements on the screen. Uh, later on, I can actually see that this is an app. So I think this, it would be helpful to see kind of like the end result within an app screen or some kind of a mock-up. Now I'm very big on showing processes. Um, and you said here, you, you show the first sketches and basically from trying to quickly scroll it looks like you had an initial idea then something happened and changed that and then you had a second revision of it um, but just from scrolling pretty quickly I can't really understand what happened and I, I can't really see at a glance what's different between this and this there just looks like different wireframes so I would say something like it hit us I, instead of saying just it just hit us, which is kind of like trying to be a storyteller. I would literally say here what happened. And for example, um, it looks like you've decided to move to an audio, like speaking interface rather than typing interface. So I would just, I'd rather you write here in big letters, moving to a speaking conversational UI or something like that. Cause just remember, most people don't take time to read the whole text. Even if it's just two lines, people are usually scroll and just check the titles. And so I'd rather you not try to story tell and kind of in, in a way waste my time and just let me know really quickly what changed. And also, I think it would be helpful to understand why this didn't work um, if you decided to change uh, a direction. Now for the logo process, again, I'm very big on process, but I basically just see here kind of like four or five options um, that you cho chose one of them. Not really sure why or what was the brief here. Um, so it, I think this actually simplifies the process a little bit too much. Um, I know that you wanted to show that there were multiple variations that were worked through, but at the end of the day, this kind of looks like I did four options, the client picked one of them. Um, it doesn't really look like a process with much behind. Um, so I would think about how to present this kind of like maybe what was the brief, what were the initial um, references be behind, what is this look like a flower? Is this looks like, what does that mean? Is this the high? Is this um, serves the gift? So how does that look like? How did you present it to the client? How did you sell it to them? So I think a little bit more storytelling or not storytelling, but process around what went into the logo process versus just show, showing like four options, that's it. Um, also here you have Play Store images and you show different variation. I don't really know what the difference is between them. And so it doesn't really help me to see, you know, that you've made different ones. I guess each of them is for a different use case. Um, I would think about like a different way to present this just just the art direction in general i think art direction is something that i feel is a little bit lacking here just pasting them in a, in a little grid the screens and and the logos looks a little flat so i would think about how to visually make this visually appealing and art direct those um, maybe they can be you know perspective 3d overlay something that looks a little bit more visual appealing than just taking your files and arranging them in a grid on the screen also, I think, you know, I'm not sure how this works on mobile, but yeah, I'm not sure that actually maybe it works, but maybe, you know, they need to be bigger on mobile. So you want to change the grid uh, from three images to two images or just one of them. So again, breaking the image 
is maybe something that you want to consider. Um, this is actually, this is fun because at last I can see like a big image and, and overall the design looks good. So I think that the work is good. I think, as I said before, with a little bit of art direction, it would help this uh, look a little bit more lively. Um, but this, this actually looks good and I'm happy to see that the end result was good, which is, you know, what I want to judge when I'm coming into your portfolio, can you deliver good results? So this is the end results gives me confidence in your abilities. It just took me a lot to get there. So maybe start with the end result here and then work through the process. Um, basically, that's what I think about this. Again, I have to scroll down um, to go down here. Also, something that I've noticed the first time around, on big screens, you have those dots patterns here. I hope you can see it on the screen. But when I was initially, um, you know, my screen size was something like, not something like this. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is that this kind of looked like the UI for, uh, you know, when you have kind of like a carousel or some kind of a slider and I try to click this. Um, so just, it, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, so just think about this specific pattern with a specific location that you've put it. Um, maybe it's just me, but in any case, I would think about this. Um, so this is about the case studies. I would say the same about this one. Um, this is pretty weird. You know, you get into a case study, the whole hero is basically uh, empty. Um, as I said, I think you should put a little bit more effort into kind of like showing the process for logos, why this was picked, why this is a good solution, why those are good colors. Seeing how you think and work as a designer is something that a lot of people that they are looking to hire you um, are interested in. So I would de definitely dig into that a little bit. Um, same with this one. You kind of shows that you, d you tried three diff different variations or I think you've A-B tested them or something, but just looking at those images, which are very dark, the difference is so like tiny little pixels here that it's really hard for us to understand what was the value here. And basically, I think that the value that you're trying to communicate is we did few options and then we A-B tested them. So how do you tell the story, the story of A-B testing, few options, maybe you want to show graphs of success or, or something like that, but make sure that the story go through because right now I just see three images, hard for me to see what's the difference between them. So yeah, not sure that it passes. Um, but overall, again, the design itself, when you look at the end result, I think the design is good and solid. I just think that it would help to better present it along the way because it takes a while until you get there and see that the design is great. What else do we have here? So basically, these are the projects. Um, and then we have the testimonials. Testimonials, I think, are great. Like, it's so underrated, so many. Like, not a lot of designers, not enough of designers put testimonials on their website, which is just really, really powerful because this is really what clients care about. Um, I think it would be awesome if you had, like, big arrows to move, like, left and right because this is not that user-friendly. Um, when you have to click those little dots here, but this is just like basic UI thing. Um, and that's it. Uh, Self-taught designer that loves his craft and can be very technical when needed. Speaking of which, this website was coded by yours truly. Just inspect away. I think this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Not sure why this was not actually up at the top here because this kind of tells your story, um, I think in a nice way. Um, I like this, like the tone of voice of this text. Um, so I think definitely maybe should have been a little bit more up at the top here. Um, yeah, basically I think that's it. Great work almost. I think definitely, first of all, the website looks good from like visual perspective. I think the works themselves are really good. I think you should put a little bit more effort into the process of how you show the journey and show a little bit more of how you work and how you think. Um, Cause I think a lot of people, that's what they're looking for when they're looking for a designer. Hope this was helpful for everybody uh, beyond almost anyway. Um, have an awesome week. I'll see you on the next one.